This is part four of a six part series um, all about taking action during this time of COVID-19, of quarantine, of just <laughs> trying to keep your sanity. Um, and I know a lot of people are out there struggling. Uh, a lot of people, well, there are some people actually who are thriving, right? And um, so I want to honor and acknowledge everybody out there and including the health workers, the healthcare workers, um, but really everybody who's who doesn't have a choice at this time in terms of having to go to work. And so um, I just wanted to say hello and thank you. And I appreciate all of you for the work that you're doing. And um, yeah, so this is what's up, y'all. I see two people are here. I just don't see who it is. Let me see. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, today I wanted to talk about the fourth letter of the action plan. And the action plan is based on my book, What's Your Action Plan? Six Powerful Ways to Get Unstuck in Your Life Now. And it was actually, it was inspired by uh, Hal Elrod's book, The Miracle Morning. And if you all haven't had a chance to read The Miracle Morning, do yourself a favor and tune in to that. I mean, uh, get that book, like find it wherever you can. It is an amazing book. It's an incredible book all about creating structure the first thing in the morning. And who doesn't need that, especially now, right? Like a lot of people are working from home. And what I've heard from a lot of folks is it's hard to keep that same structure that they had when they were working and having to go into the office and having to leave their home. Uh, and so a book like The Miracle Morning is really cool because he talks about these lifesavers. Um, hey, Sharon. Hey, Lena. Hey, Jack. Um, oh, man. Uh but yeah, so he talks about these these six different things that you could do first thing in the morning and and that gets your day started with structure, with a certain amount of energy, drive, inspiration, focus, and concentration and all that good stuff that, that really just sets the tone for the rest of the day. So um so yeah, this book was inspired by him and by his series of books, The Miracle Morning, and there are all sorts of um, different ones. I mean, there's one for realtors and one for artists and, and entrepreneurs and whatnot. Uh, but they all say essentially the same thing, which is having that structure first thing in the morning. So again, book inspired by that action then is an acronym for affirmations. And we've talked about that. I talked about that three videos ago. Um, so if you haven't had a chance to check that out, go ahead, check that one out. Uh, the C is for creativity, like exercising your creativity, especially during this time we're cooped up and we got a lot of nervous energy and anxious energy and um, or even with depressed energy. It's just feeling like you have something to do, but not sure where to put that energy. Put it into your creativity. The T is for talking. Talk to somebody. Talk to a professional. Talk to somebody who is there and who has been trained to help you out. Right? Don't do it on your own. Like I know y'all. Like there are a lot of people out there who might say, "I got it. I don't need to talk to a professional about my stuff." Like why should I air my dirty laundry? And um, I hear you. <laughs> and there are other ways to deal with this stuff. So talk to a professional if you can. And I know now there are actually a lot of um, a lot of resources available that are cheaper, that are um, you know at a at a um, reduced cost, so that it can be helpful to you during this time. So it doesn't add an extra level of stress to your life. So that leads us to the I. And um, hey, Dana. Um, and the I is all about introspection and that is taking a deep look within. Now, I know this could be, this could be kind of a challenging one. This could be a, a scary one for some people because usually, um, in our everyday lives when COVID-19 wasn't here and we weren't quarantined, a lot of people just got in that that whole routine of ripping and running and going and going and going and doing and doing and doing instead of just being. And I think for some people that serves as an opportunity to just distract them from actually taking those looks within and saying, what can I improve upon? 
right? It's a very, very helpful distraction, right? <laughs> like when you always have to worry about getting from this event to that event or going to work and, and having to concentrate on that. Uh, but when we're just left to our own devices, um, you know, that's the moment. And those are the times when we really could start looking within and saying, I know that there are areas of my life that could use some fine tuning, some improvement, um, some extra love and care and, and compassion, whatever it is. Like there are some of those areas. We all have them. Um, so I ask you two things. What areas of your life have you neglected? And we know there are some. And I'm about to show you all something in a minute <clears throat> that can help you answer that question. Uh, but what have you neglected? But also what areas of, of life are you really good at? Like, are you really strong in? Um Maybe your uh, financial game is on point, like you've saved up before this this time and you know that you are going to be fine. Uh, maybe it's that your spiritual game is like on point. You go to church or you worship or you have a spiritual belief and practice that <clears throat> is really strong. Maybe it's, um, you know, you take care of your physical health. You go to the gym well, now we don't have gym, but maybe you have a home gym where you, you um, are running every day. And so you know that that is like scale of zero to 10. That's like at a nine or a 10. OK, so just think about I just invite you to think about what areas are really strong, but and also what areas could use some extra strengthening. OK, um, so I know for myself, whenever I've uh, gone to therapy or had a coach and I do have a coach right now. Uh, what up, Titus? Uh, Titus Bartolotta with Collaborative Solutions Group, which is also my team. I'm a coach for them. Um, but, you know, I know like in those times in my life when I reached out for a therapist or a coach, it's because I knew that I couldn't provide myself with what I knew that I needed. And so I needed somebody else in my corner to hold me accountable, to give me that support um, and to give me the tools that I needed at that time. And, and yes, I do need those things. Even as a psychologist, as a therapist, we too need those things as well. So ask yourself, you know, what, where are you not operating at 100 percent? Right. And, and how can somebody else help you out with that? And how are you practicing going with them? Like, I, you know, I'm just curious for a lot of people. And I've heard this. Um, that a lot of people are taking this time to really introspect, right? <laughs> which is awesome. And so I'm just curious, like, what, what are those ways for you? Are, are they journaling? Are they, um, you know, just doing some reading? Are they meditation? Is it your yoga practice that helps you to, to go within? Uh, maybe it's just quiet time. Maybe it's quiet time first thing in the morning, especially if you have children, you know, maybe before they wake up, maybe before the, the rest of the house wakes up, you just spend some time in quiet and just reflect. And so, yeah, I'm, I, I'm just curious, like what has been helpful for you in your journey? Um, so, y'all, I don't want to go on too long today, but I'm going to show you real quick a little wheel of life. Now, the wheel of life is something that um, you can use and you can actually uh, look it up on, on Google. Um, uh, my team, Collaborative Solutions Group, we also have access to these too. But um, this is like an example of a wheel of life. So you have, you know, a significant other, you have personal growth, fun and leisure. Like what are you doing for enjoyment? What are you enjoying uh, doing to get out of the house and enjoy yourself or even enjoy your, your, yourself and, and your time within the house, right? Um, what's going on in your home environment? How can you improve on that? Uh, career, right? So there's a lot of people who may be stuck in a career that they don't love, but, um, you know, they just, they're doing it because they have to. So look at that. You know, maybe you want to change career. Maybe you've been thinking about ways to expand. Um, and then money, that, the, that financial piece is really important. Looking at health then, uh, and that includes physical, mental, emo oh, my bad. I took the focus off, uh, but it includes like physical, mental, emotional, all of those areas of health that could be approved upon. And then 
we have friends and family and significant others. So I look at that as more the social interactions. And the cool thing about now is a lot of people are starting to strengthen those areas because you're, you have time to reach out to people. You have time to Zoom with people. You have time to um, house party with people. That's a really cool app, by the way. If you haven't downloaded it, download House Party. Like, Connect with your friends and family, and you can play games on it, too. So that's really cool. Um, just disregard the dog in the background. <laughs> but yeah, so like it's a wheel like this where you can literally just color it in and see like where you are zero to 10 in those areas. And you kind of have a jaded wheel, right? And then you know like what areas to work on, like finances for this person. This isn't my wheel, but <laughs> but they, they need some work, right? Um, whereas their career, their attitude, their social life, they're all on point. Uh, but they also, too, could use some work. So none of us are always at any given time at a 10. So just be honest with yourself. Just be open with yourself and start doing that exploration, y'all. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. If you wanted to check out my book, it's called What's Your Action Plan? Six Powerful Ways to Get Unstuck in Your Life Now. It's an ebook, so you can get it conveniently on any device that you have. Um, and you can get it through Amazon and or your local library through Hoopla. Um, you could also get it through Barnes & Noble as well as Apple Books. So you have various options, and I know you got a little bit more time. It's not a long read, so uh, do yourself a favor and check it out. And I'd, I'd be open to hearing and, and would love to hear your thoughts and feedback about it. Um, it's $1.99 right now. I, I, I took it down from like $9.99, so I wanted to make it more accessible to as many people as possible because I know a lot of people are feeling stuck right now in their life. Um, and speaking of which... Uh, we will be starting Collaborative Solutions Group, myself and Titus Bartolotta. We will be starting a group coaching program uh, starting next Tuesday, April 7th, and then it's going to happen for the first and third Tuesdays of April and May. We will be offering completely free group coaching every other Tuesday in April and May. So there's no excuse, y'all, unless it's time, but really you have more time. So Again, no excuse, no strings attached. All you got to do is let us know you're in by the end of today. Um, and then we would, we'll send you the information. It's going to be an online Zoom group coaching program where we're just going to be pouring into you about leading through crisis. Um, we're all leaders, whether we think so or not. Like We all have leadership qualities and capabilities. And it's about tapping into that, especially now. Like this is the time where leaders are born. This is the time where ideas are are birthed. And um, you know, I've been talking to people all day, colleagues and friends, in addition to my clients. But we've been talking about ways to help so many people worldwide. Like not just in our little pockets that we so we're so used to staying in. So. Um, you know, leading through crisis, just getting in on that and, and knowing that you are a leader and you have something to offer to your community, to your family, to your friends, uh, to the world. So we'll be focusing on that as well as just the power of emotional awareness. Having an emotional IQ where you approach life very differently. <laughs> you know, the, the higher your emotional IQ, um, the, the, the more empowered you are, the more empowered that you can show up in life. So we'll be talking about those two things for the duration of those four sessions, completely free again. So if you're down, what up, Keisha? <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're down, let me know. Would love to have you as part of that group. Um, we're going up to 100, so we're already almost there. Uh, so let me know. Let me know quickly. So y'all, that was it. Today's topic was introspection. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got some value, some jewels from that. Uh, and again, I'd love to hear in, in the comments what you are doing to practice that introspection for yourself. So uh, this is Doc and Coach D saying peace, love, and light, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow evening. All right. Bye.